What's going on guys? It's Cutness. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a customized graphics card VBIOS on your laptop. Today's laptop is going to be the MSI GE72QF Apache Pro. It's going to have the 970M in it from NVIDIA. So let's get to it. So you're going to uh, first off, you're going to download a couple things. You're going to need your driver from NVIDIA. Um, the most recent driver, preferably. So as soon as you download that, you're going to download this. It's going to be a display uh, driver uninstaller. Uh, you do not have to disable your graphics card. Um, you don't have to uninstall it from there. Uh, you're going to run this utility, and it's going to do everything for you. It's, it's really nice. So... You'll launch it. You're gonna do the clean and restart. So as soon as it uh, cleans and restarts, it's gonna restart your computer, of course, automatically once it's done. So once it's done, you're gonna be fresh, and ready to go. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create a folder in your C drive. So as soon as you create a folder in your C drive, you're gonna make sure you're gonna put the um, updated ROM for your VBIOS in that folder. So my folder has a flash ba a Windows batch file uh, for my 970M. So if I go in here, oh shit, my bad. Don't want to do that. Um, if I go in here and let's see. I can't, I can open it. I know I can. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's see, there we go. So it, basically, it's for NV Flash, and it's just gonna tell you. Um, I know if you open up NV Flash, you do negative six, and then you put your ROM file. You have to literally open up. You have to put everything right here in NV Flash. So um, you can either try it NV Flash, but I went ahead and did it this way. Uh, I had a guy modify my BIOS, and he literally sent me all this. So it was really nice. So if you open up NV Flash, this basically just tells you what all your options are and everything. It doesn't really do much more than that. Um, so basically, up to update your firmware, you have to do NV Flash, negative 6, and then your file name. So you can do a couple things. Uh, some people have done, done Shift and right-click and open up a command window here and it's already right here um so i was getting errors uh it wouldn't really work for me so i had to literally go through command prompt and run it as an administrator to get it to work so whichever way works for you so be it i'm going to show you the way that worked for me so basically what you're going to do is whenever you create your folder in your c drive you're just going to come down here to your command prompt and you're going to run it as administrator. So all you're going to do is you're going to do um, backspace CD. I mean back <laughs> backslash CD. Uh, oh my goodness. Why do I always do that? I always freaking do that. It's not back uh, backslash CD. It is CD backslash. Okay. Anyway, sorry for the brain fart moment. So as soon as it comes up, this is your C drive. You're going to just keep pointing it to your folder. So mine was cutness. Okay, now I'm in the folder in C drive. So all you're going to do is you're going to put flash straight up. And that, window, that Windows batch file is going to run uh, NV flash. And it's going to update your VBIOS, um, the one that's modified. So you make sure you do the one that's modified. Or, or you let's just say you could do backup from here if you wanted to, and you can put your backup on there. Oh wow, wow! There we go. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the way it worked for me. I'm not going to do it because I'm going to get no display drivers detected error because for some reason it says it's not there, but it's, when I uninstall it, it says it's it's there. So whatever. So anyway, once that's done, you're going to restart your computer. It's going to do its stuff. Um, it's pretty easy. And then you're ready to install your driver. So install, install your driver. Make sure you do the um, 
ex not the express um, make sure you do the custom install and you're gonna click perform a clean install make sure you do that you can install uh, nvidia experience or you don't have to i didn't install it just because i don't use it and it's just less space that i have to worry about being on my computer so i'm fine with not having it so anyway um once this opens up i'll show you guys <clears throat> and once it's done checking your system compatibility, I give you that license agreement. You say yes, and then you do your custom install. And perform clean install. Right there. So I, I'm I'm not gonna install it because I've already I already got mine on here. So, but as soon as that's done, you're good to go. Um, I didn't have to restart my computer. Uh, you might. I don't know. So, once that's done, you open up uh, NVIDIA Inspector. Or you can open up GPU Tweak um, and check to see if your BIOS is modified. Or you could open up... Um, Asus GPU tweak. I, th I think that's what it's called. Is it? Yeah, it is. It's Asus GPU tweak. Um, and then you got an EVGA Precision X, and then you have MSI Afterburner. So I like using this one. Um, it's a lot more easier to use. So anyway, this little message is going to pop up saying you're, it's all on you, basically. If you want to over overclock your card it is your responsibility it is not my responsibility nor is it the responsibility of the people who made these overclocking tools so it's all you so as soon as you click yes you're gonna have your little window pop up right here these are your certain performance levels um, basically this is the lowest level um, let's just say, let's just say you run heaven, uh, benchmark and you want to make sure that, um, let's just say you want it maxed out. So you just max it out all the way. This is all default though. So, uh, the guy that did it, he put all the defaults in here for me. And, but yeah, each one of these, they just start steadily increasing and next thing you know you get to your your latest your heaviest one and this is your default right here and this is what it is right now so but yeah you get to put a bunch of stuff in there i mean it it goes goes a lot i've done like 1500 i've gotten it up there so it's pretty nice i do like that um, so, <clears throat> it ran pretty good at 1500. I can't remember what I did on the memory. I think I did plus 400, but either way, I'm not gonna, not gonna mess with it today. I already got a couple of, um, uh, clock settings that work for me. Let's see if I can load one real quick. Oops. Okay, let's see. Let's see which one this one is. Uh, I get this little error. I don't know why I get that sometimes. That one's plus 135. Let's see. I've been modifying my BIOS uh, quite a bit. Um, and it's weird because sometimes I'll... Let's see. Let me hide it because sometimes it, it's weird. It'll do certain things sometimes. This one's plus 80. That's random. 
Oh, wow, well, that one's just plus 80, but it doesn't touch anything right there. One of these is like plus 4 or 6. Yeah, this is a good one. This is my, this is my overclocked one. This is the one where it runs really good. Um, I think each one of these are different. No, they're not. They're all stock. They're all default, except the last one. That's up to 1,500. So that, that one ran good for me. Um, I had to go down on the, um, uh, on the memory. I kept putting too much memory, and the whole program would crash, but... Anyway, that's for another time. Just showing you guys a quick little tutorial how to how to use this, but make sure you have that up and running whenever you start from scratch, basically. So, uh, see, uh, that's weird. It's just anyway. I'll, I'll mess with it. There we go. Okay. I don't know why it does that. Whatever. I play a lot of Battlefield 2, so I don't really need to have it overclocked. Only whenever I'm playing, like, Fallout 4 and whatnot. But anyway. Alright, guys. Well, if you like this video, rate, subscribe, or give me a good thumbs up on it. Um, maybe I can make some more in the future. But anyway, you guys have a great day, and see you soon.